I think even if I didn't have my injuries, um, those days would come too, because I think that's so normal for all of us. I think something that's really important to me that wasn't always easy to implement, but I'm getting much better at it now, is boundaries. You know, boundaries are really important to me. So that might be um, knowing when to say no to people, uh, knowing when to switch off, you know, not just mentally, but physically switching the phone off, shutting the laptop lid. And I think also being honest with myself, you know, some, some tough lessons of saying, what is actually not serving me anymore? Um, what are my coping mechanisms? Are they healthy? Or am I looking to destructive coping mechanisms? You know, in lockdown, lots of us looked to online shopping, <laughs> um, to alcohol, um, to, you know, to, to many things that actually don't serve us. Are we in relationships that have run their course? I think if I looked for actual in the moment, um, freedom and respite from my problems. It would be physical movement. So for me, I love running. Um, I do a lot of running to fundraise for I have a charity that I set up, a Burns charity. So I do a lot of 10Ks, half marathons. And mental health wise, particularly again in lockdown, just being able to do something that didn't cost any money, didn't need any planning. You just open the door and the world is there for you to put your trainers on and run around. And it's still been quite a solitary activity if you want it to be. I would always come back from a run less angry, less irrational, um, and sort of feeling that it was a form of therapy, really.